we have a little bit of a different kind of video for you today. This is a patient who did not want any of his audio used because he didn't want anybody recognizing him. So I'm just going to narrate through the, the video a little bit. He came in with this, this big infection in this toe and he had been in urgent care the night before and they had popped a large blister that was on the, on the toe and there was quite a bit of pus that came out when they, uh, they popped the blister in urgent care. We are going to try and get any remaining pus out of it and culture it to make sure we've got him on the right antibiotic and clean it up and get it to heal for him. Um, it was pretty painful. He has no idea how this infection started. He thinks maybe he did step on something that poked a little hole into the, into the skin. So mostly they, they drained this blister and we're going to de-roof the blister just to make sure that everything is healthy underneath it. And as you can see, most of that skin looks pretty good. It doesn't look like hamburger meat, as we sometimes call it. Um, it looks pretty healthy. So again, we're just going to continue to take the dead skin, which is the roof of the blister, off. There is this little white spot, and we'll get to that in just a second here. You'll see what that is. So I'm not really sure what this white spot is that's on there and so that probably is where the initial injury was and this is a plug of solidified pus for lack of a better term and that's what we're going to be culturing because that went deep into the wound and look at that perfect round circle that he has so there I'm just looking to see if I can express any more fluid of that's infected from the site and then we'll continue to remove the rest of the dead skin just to make sure that the skin underneath is healthy. So it looks like everything is pretty good except for that perfectly round hole going into the middle of the toe. And remember, none of this is hurting because all that skin that I'm taking off, that's all dead skin. The top of the blister. So it did look like there was something else inside there and maybe a bit of a, maybe a foreign body or something. So I'm just going to go in with my forceps and um, see if I can feel anything in there or see anything. And it's just a little bit of a little bit more infected tissue that comes out. Then we need to clean out that open area. So I'm taking a syringe. No, I'm not going to inject him with that, but we're going to just irrigate that or flush it out with some sterile saline um, and some lidocaine just to help with some of the pain. We'll do that a couple more times. of any 
any further debris or pus that might be in there. See, now it's coming out really clear. Now the last one I'm doing with the lidocaine, which is local anesthetic, and that will just help when he leaves uh, with the pain, so it won't be so bad. Must be that one. There we go. That's the lidocaine. I didn't need to numb his toe up for anything else, just that. Now we're gonna put a little bit of antibiotic cream in there and wrap it up and then send him home on the antibiotic um, for now that he was given at the urgent care. The culture did show MRSA, or as some people call it, MRSA, which um, is one of what are known as the superbugs. MRSA stands for methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, which just means that there's a lot of antibiotics that most Staph aureus infections um, will respond to, but this particular bacteria is resistant to it. So we've had to come up with different types of antibiotics that we can use. And uh, we did switch him over and this really did heal uneventfully. And that whole area just filled right in. No more hole and uh, he's good to go. So I hope you enjoyed something a little bit different today. Um, and this isn't the stuff that walks in every day, but it is nice to give people some relief when they come in with a big infection like that. So thank you for watching.